head of the Customs Anti-Narcotics Unit, Jim Singh, in addressing reports of alleged misconduct by ranks of the Anti-Narcotics Agency, says it's mandatory for officers to wear body cameras to help boost the agency's credibility. When we go into those locations, our officers have body cams, even to the point we have extra persons using their cell phones, we conduct a search. Suggesting that the body cameras can help de-escalate heated situations, the Kanu boss said that searches conducted at the homes of alleged suspects and vehicles are not done illegally. Singh spoke to the core issue of spur-of-the-moment searches. When time permits, we would get a search warrant. As you're aware, sometimes our operations occur on spur-of-the-moment. Um, acting on information, someone may call in or... As a result of surveillance, at that moment, uh, the suspect is moving a large quantity of drugs either by boat and we have to act right away. Singh said he finds it increasingly strange when suspects level allegations of theft against Kanu, even when a declaration form is signed before officers leave the search area. And there is a statement, a declaration, which the occupants sign, stating that nothing was taken from them, no one was abused. So it's always funny afterwards you hear people making all sorts of allegations. We went into their house, we stole this, we stole that. When the body camera shows, when we're searching the house, you're present. Asked about the possibility of suspects refusing to open their doors after a knock and Kanu ranks identifying themselves, Singh responded. Suspect, they always open the door. We advise him that if there's a delay, it means that he's trying to hide something. Um, either way, he's preventing us from doing his job. But rarely is the case that someone, they'll lose their dogs, they'll take a the time um, to put those dogs up. And we know that it's a ploy to flush the drugs down or hide it. Um, we tend to persuade them and let them know that if they continue, we can do forced entry. The Customs Anti-Narcotics Unit on Saturday destroyed 512 kilograms of narcotics, equivalent to a street value of $153 million. Travis Chase, HGP Nightly News.